Um, okay, so Rix, uh, you and Runa head down the stairs. And the room looks uh it's it's one the cellar is one big room and there's a couple of like supports um but otherwise it's pretty open you get the sense that they probably had uh um provisions and casks and stuff like that stored here uh but now other than some broken furniture and stuff like that it's it appears to be empty um short of you guys searching further uh like you could pick through some of the detritus or whatever but you know what i mean like just at a sweeping glance it looks empty um and nahessa you said you're prying open one of the windows are you doing that like what in in the in the common room or in the storage room that you guys in entered in like by in the back okay the window we, we teleported through gotcha uh <laughs> Dave, uh, Leif, uh, Jayhawk in chat says, one day the polar bear will call Leif daddy. <laughs> I've been attacked. <laughs> Teach it to speak, and that's the only word it can say. Shh. The daddy bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you two that are down in the cellar. I fucking hate guys... that. Th I'm sorry, I really can't stand the daddy thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pet peeve, I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys that are down in the cellar so you can hear uh, Nehessa like opening a window upstairs um, it's so quiet that that would cause enough noise that you'd be able to pick that out uh, but what are you guys doing down in the cellar I'm just going to head a little more inside and see if there's anything that looks suspicious <laughs> okay um, and I'm going to tell Rune uh, keep your eyes open I just perch up in the rafters or something, and I just mm -hmm. stay on alert. Okay. I'll take a perception check from both of you, then. I'm so good at it. If there's, a rat, if there's a rat, that bitch is dead. <laughs> <laughs> Got it covered. Yeah. Um. So, Rixana, you are uh, moving deeper into the cellar. Uh, and the only sound that you can really hear is like the sound of your feet on the floor. But then after a couple steps, you stop and you hear the sound of feet on the floor stop after yours. So like you get the sense that there was another footstep, a step or two behind yours, um, timing wise. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, and then you, uh, you, you get that and you kind of get like the hair on the back of your neck stands mm -hmm. up <laughs> and you start to look around and then, um, I'm actually going to call for initiative. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> shit. There's yeah. a creepypasta. Oh, before anybody rolls, let me clear the... We, we the in a creepypasta now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. I was really worried this was a, a oh, wild nice. goose chase. <laughs> wow, that's definitely my worst initiative yet. Whoa. Um, okay, well, Rix, Ooh. that's awesome. And I'll take initiative from all the other characters as well. Um, because once, here's the thing, once combat starts, quote unquote, it's very likely you'll hear it, you know what I mean? And be able to react, mm -hmm. so. Um, but we're going to treat everyone other than Rix uh, as having surprise, essentially. Um, Rix, you're, you're pretty high uh, perception. Wait, no, I'm sorry. Runa. Oh, both of, no, both Runa and Rix are not going to be surprised. Um, let me sort this. Damn right. <laughs> um okay so uh you get here's the thing rix this is kind of really it's hard to describe uh because you can't see this thing and runa mm -hmm. you can't see it either but you can hear it moving and it is it it sounds like it's right next to rixana like there's something that you can't see that's essentially engaged with rixana Oh, I don't like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But Rixana, you rolled higher than it on initiative. So you are going first. So uh, you are aware <clears throat> of its presence, so you can attack. You are considered to be attacking blindly uh, because it's quote-unquote invisible. So that means that you'll be rolling with disadvantage, essentially. Straight um, up Slenderman. It's Slenderman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, it's, the, it's the SCP that if you like turn and face it, it can't move. Uh, yeah, yeah the, the one that looks like the giant concrete baby. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um. Yeah. So, 
already feeling creeped out. Um, I kind of like this idea that Rix doesn't do well with like creepy stuff and supernatural <laughs> that it freaks her out. So she's already on edge and this place is creepy. So she whirls around and just kind of does an instinctive attack hearing okay. something behind her. I'll so, take a attack with disadvantage. Disadvantage. I like how like Runa's been jump scaring her the whole time. <laughs> 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 yeah, only I'm allowed to prank sister. That's no one else is allowed. To. <laughs> ah, that's at eight with disadvantage. Uh, uh, it, yep, nothing happens. Slices through air. Okay, I'll do the bonus offhand then. Okay. Uh, a thirteen is the disadvantage. Same thing. Okay. All right, Leif is surprised, and then our mystery assailant is going between Leaf and Bear. Um, okay, after you, after Rick's turns and swings, this is really interesting. I've never had to, to like, describe a combat like this before. This is fun. <laughs> uh, after Rick's turns and swings twice, hitting nothing but air, um, you, both Rick's and Runa suddenly hear, like, the scrambling of many feet all over the cellar. Uh, um, it's no, definitely, it's <laughs> definitely like more that. than one. No. Um, the, the roof of the cellar, the ceiling of the cellar is, we'll say that's about six feet. Um, so it's probably a little ways above your head, but but it's six feet. Um, uh, okay, six feet up. I'm, I'm really trying to like <laughs> go like, what would happen here? All right. Um, all of a sudden, part of the ceiling, like where you turned and swung, Rixana, part of the ceiling suddenly bursts upward, like something big and hard is pushing up against it. Um, it doesn't like break open, but you can see that the wood is stressing forward, and there's it's cracking and splintering and there's dust falling and all that and you can see like the rafters are snapping and being pushed off to the side implying that something you can't see is suddenly growing to a much bigger size <laughs> i don't like that either <laughs> <laughs> and then and then this thing is going to attack you and it oh, has boy. advantage because you can't see it sure um you guys horror movie to yourselves <laughs> Yeah, I know. Uh, I'm yeah. Just, just let's head down into the basement. Like, let's oh, break let's into the down. abandoned place. <laughs> <laughs> and immediately go to the basement by ourselves. Were you the one that watched uh, Don't Be Afraid of the Dark this last weekend? No, I did not. Okay. Somebody posted that on Discord, I thought. Oh, nope, wasn't me. Um, <laughs> so, uh, Ru or Rixana, your new AC, is that 15 now or is it still 14? a hit i just want to make sure for future um Mine is up to 14 too i'll adjust that on my thing okay um and i will be revealing this thing to you guys as well but uh okay so um there is this uh heavy uh piercing feeling as uh a, a large metal spike is driven into uh rixana for 14 piercing damage um and as that happens uh you see Got to make him bigger. And I'm going to use my uh, parry to reduce the d6 plus 3. Let me do that. So as that happens, you see uh, um, suddenly this uh, Dwagar pops into view. Uh, his invisibility goes away, and he's now standing there with a uh, a war pick that he hit you with. I got to um, say, that's not what I expected. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, right. Of all the things I expected, that was not it. And he you is... Um, <laughs> and he's uh, he's saying something to you in undercommon, but you, I'm assuming you don't have undercommon. No. Okay. No. Yeah. So you can't tell what he's saying. Uh, and then the other attacks are going to come. Are. So are um, this one is large. The other ones are the other ones uh, are not large. You didn't get a sense that there were more individuals that were springing in size, but um, you are going to get more attacks here. They're all going to be at advantage because they all are attacking while sure. invisible. Yeah. Um, so that's a hit for another 10 piercing damage. Okay. <laughs> so when they grew to, to go impact down. The, the ceiling above them, is that noticeable on the next floor? Maybe oh, you would have felt it for sure. Okay. Yeah, you definitely would have felt it. I mean, um, the way that you described how quiet it was, I think everyone, at least even remotely, oh, yeah. the house is mm -hmm. now yeah. and Like I said, <clears> and that's, what, that's how I'm treating surprise on. for like everyone outside right. the inn, is that once they hear the sounds of open combat, that would be like, oh, okay, you know, they can tell what's happening. Um, the third attack is a hit for another seven piercing damage. Okay, I'm down. Yikes. Okay. Oh, no! 
And when Rixana goes down, um, so I'm gonna I should reveal these guys, uh, mm -hmm. because the rest of them are gonna pop into view now. There are total Runa, you count six of them total. What? And the three wow. that didn't attack all dogpile on Rixana to grab her and pull her away from the stairs leading up. Okay. Um, <laughs> we're still treating this as a surprise round, so Bear, Kaylee, unfortunately, you guys, and Nahesa, you guys don't have turns, but now we go to Runa. Do they seem to notice me? <laughs> if they did, they didn't seem to make any... Like they mm. they knew that they knew that you came down with Rixana, but they right. think you're just like her pet owl. You know what I mean? So that makes sense. So there's one uh, big one, five small ones, and three of the five small ones are grabbing Rixana. Trying to figure out if I should if I should um just like swoop down and attack in owl form, or if I should like turn back and cast some actual magic that might be useful. <laughs> I think that's what I'm gonna do. Gee, let so me think. I, 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 I swoop down. <laughs> I swoop down and I, I, I turn back into my normal uh, form. Okay. And I, um, I actually, oh, I wanna, I wanna make, I wanna do something that does fear, and I've got a bunch of different choices. So let me take a look real quick. Sure. Um. Uh, Nahesa, I'm just going to say that for you, it's going to take you your movement plus your action to dash down to the cellar, um, unless you can find a way to to engage them without running all the way down. And everyone else, I'm going to say that you're 90 feet away from engaging. Would, would, so. would you say they're all within 20 feet of one um, another? Of one another? Yeah. yeah, yeah, I would say they would. The cellar's not big. Okay, then uh, I could hit them with either a sleep or fairy fire. And since hmm. they were, were they they were straight up invisible, or were they just hidden? They were invisible. Okay, yeah, I'm hitting them with fairy fire. <laughs> okay. So I, I like I, I so I um I leap down, transform, and I like take my scythe off of my back, and I say unhand her, and then <laughs> I sh like shoot out some fairy fire, and it kind of sure. sparkles around them. Uh, so I'll link that in chat. They all have to make a dexterity save. Dex save. Okay. All right. 13. Um, 13. Mm -hmm. Okay. The big one um, is caught in it. Cool. And two of the little ones are caught. Awesome. Uh, the other three are fine. So those, those ones have... Uh, they shed light. Everyone has advantage to hit them, and they can't benefit from invisibility. Nice. Um, and Sailor Doom is awarding, uh, inspiration, um, but she didn't say who to, so I'm gonna get a follow-up, and then we're going to go to the top of the next round with Rixana. I need a, gets it. <laughs> I need a deck saving throw, Rixana. Okay. Uh, that's one success. Nice. That's good. Oh, uh, Runa gets the inspiration. <clears throat> cool. Thank you. Um, all right, so Leif, you're outside. Like I said, you're about 90 feet away to engage the the Dwagar. So, yeah, I'm going to hoof it, and I'll blow the sure. bear whistle to make it stay. Oh, okay. It plops down. <laughs> bear whistle. Yeah. Bear's like, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> what am I supposed to do now? <laughs> I look at all three bears sit down. <laughs> <laughs> it turns into a bear and then sits down. <laughs> so if it's ninety feet away, I'm not going to get there in the round, am I? Right. It'll be your full your full turn to uh, move. Wait, and dash. I'm going to can't use a bonus action. The the blowing the whistle is not going to take an action, is it? Uh, no, I count that as a free action. Okay, then I'm going to once per round bonus action to do Zephyr Strike. Uh, yeah, which will double my movement. Oh, nice. Oh. So it's so, 120 on a dash. Okay, so yeah, we still have to dash to get there, but you suddenly, um, <laughs> a wild leaf uh, leaps through the window that Nehesso was prying open. <laughs> Barrels through. <laughs> just, yeah, dashes through what the cold winter winds point? propelling its... <laughs> um, so yeah, now you are down uh, at... In I'm going to say you're at engaged range with the, the big Dwagar, because he was kind of front and center. Um, also because he occupies more space. Uh, 
okay. And I assume it's pretty uh, cramped down here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The three Dwagar that have Rixana are going to continue to pull her um, away. Uh, and so they get her. So it's going to take a, a movement to get to them. Um, so I'm just going to, just to symbolize that. We'll take these three. Can you? Yeah, I was gonna say, can you put the ones that are on Rixana like around Rixana Separate. on the map yep. so that we can? Yeah. Cool. Like that. Um, and then the other two are gonna move to assist the big guy. Uh, so and uh, <laughs> Sailor Doom uh, with the inspiration again to Leif now, uh, <laughs> saying wow. do the thing. So yeah, Julian, do the thing. <laughs> um, the thing. Do it now. <laughs> I can't unfortunately because uh, D&D sucks. <laughs> oh, you already have inspiration? No, no, no. I, 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 no, I ran. Yeah, I ran. That's it. That's all I could do was run. Oh, right. Yeah. Well, you got it for next turn. Yeah, I might watch. I might watch this yeah. round. Is what I did. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the big one is going to attack Leif. The other two, I'm going to roll a D6. Oh, of course, I turned up just in time to get one shot. <laughs> <laughs> the other oh, no, two, I'm going to roll a D6 to shot. see if they go after Runa or Leif. So one, two, three. Actually. No, Runa casts a spell, that'd be pretty threatening. So one, two, three is Runa, four, five, six is Lathe. Just gonna knock us out one by one as we can. <laughs> yeah, right. We, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> the two other Dwagars see that the big one has Lathe, and so they both go after Runa. So um, so here's yeah. a an enlarged attack against Lathe. It's a miss. And here are two normal attacks against Runa. Um AC fourteen. AC fourteen, that one's a miss. The second one's a hit. Okay. When the first one misses, I'm going to yep. use uh, my repost. Nice. Mm -hmm. uh, because why not? Because why not? Yeah. That's yeah. why you got it. We'll I mean, say you're going against I... a fairy fire one as well. Okay. I was going to say my attack bonus isn't very good, but actually fairy fire will make that quite yeah. better. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. There you Direct. go. 19 All hits. Right, so I'm going to add my superior darty. Su superior darty. <laughs> superior Dorothy <laughs> dies. That's getting yeah. added to my damage, okay. and then, uh, boop. Wow. Nice. That's impossible. <laughs> Hold on. M MJ's got friends no. of Dorothy. Oh, no, no, it's one plus it's one not minus impossible. one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I don't use my scythe very often. It's fine. Is it right. made of paper? Um, did you paper cut them? Is that what you just did? You know, it was six free damage, all right? It's fine. <laughs> Um, but then the war pick that uh, the second one swinging at you hits for four piercing damage. Okay. Um, bear. So I am going to cast Long Strider. Nice. And uh, Robo Bear and I are going to dash our way there, but only gets eighty feet. Okay. Um, while well, you're down in the cellar, at least you're probably like on the stairs. I would say. And I need to get Robo Bear on here again. I see that. Kaylee? So, Superman passed me. Uh, you know, um, I was going to say, I. And I stand uh, up, and then Bear and Robo Bear. <laughs> we crash through the door, yeah. just steamroll our way through. <laughs> Kool Aid Man, our way in here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah, Kaylee is going to run in there, too. She is not going to Kool-Aid man her way through. Uh, <laughs> she steps over the rubble of the door frame. Right. Yeah, she's just pulling the wall. Are, are there things that she can uh, maybe jump over or, like, acrobatics <laughs> around to get her a little extra movement? Uh, as opposing, like, I don't know. Parkour! Jump over the, uh, yeah, parkour. <laughs> get over the, the bar. Uh... Yeah, if you want to give me a, an acrobatics check, I can give you maybe an extra, like, 10 feet of movement. Yeah, 17 will do it. As you, okay. like, um, grab a support beam, like, heading down into the cellar and swing around it or go over the bar like that. Yeah, any of those would work. Sweet. So I can be engaged alongside Leaf. Let okay, Leaf. so you're engaging the big one? All right. Yep. Nice. Or, oh, wait, no, uh, Runa's behind us, right? Uh, if Runa's uh, behind us, I'll uh, hang out with Runa. No, I'm... I'm. I mean, I'm. I'm up. I'm down here with with Leif. Okay. All right. I would. Yeah. I would say that when you enter the cellar, you can choose to engage alongside Runa or alongside Leif. And Runa's if you try to move be, yeah. And if you try to move beyond them, uh, any of those enemies could get attacks of opportunity against you. Like it's pretty yeah. tight quarter. So. Yep. That's right. Um. Oof. Uh. So you said from the back door. 
it is now what 60 feet to get down into the basement like into melee range or well i thought were you in the were you in the storeroom or I was were in you the storeroom yeah where we first entered the place uh yeah i would say it'd be uh no it would probably be about 30 feet. i was thinking you were in the common room uh the storeroom is uh, like right next to the kitchen no, I, so yeah, yeah that i just checked out the common room but then i sure. went to go open the window <laughs> so yeah that okay. 30 feet yeah so like now i'm able to find myself after like three people <laughs> in the span of 10 seconds like run <laughs> downstairs. <laughs> was like is something going on <laughs> yeah uh so i like get up and dust myself off uh, so it's like trying down. to wait for a space at frogger yeah <laughs> uh, uh, hmm. so i guess yeah, instinct okay so there's a big dude <laughs> <laughs> and then I see, uh, you know, Rick's getting carried off. Uh, so I'll throw out the best crowd control I have available. <laughs> oh no! Go <Good> sleep. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, and, and it's not gonna be shatter. I don't want to bring the place down on us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, it's like maybe. Shit. Yeah, I don't. I yeah, I don't think I've ever had to deal with this many beefy <laughs> threats. All right, 33. Oh, that's okay, I'm going to I'm going to say that um now that the other three Dwagar have moved aside, like pulled Ricks, I'm going to say you can either get the three that are engaged or the three that are in the back. That was the ones pulling her away. Okay, okay. Um she can't fall more unconscious. So that's true. <laughs> that is very that's, true. That is true. Um yes. okay. That's going to hit one of them and they're all at full health. Yeah. So, I'm going to roll a d6 and it could mm -hmm. be the fairy fire one or it could not be. We'll see. Um, and it is not okay so one of the three falls down asleep um, okay. is he still and then him? I'll go get the sleep counter <laughs> <laughs> it's like what seven to three now isn't it shush I think it's eight to three, <laughs> I think it's eight to three now uh, eight Something to two more. eight to two oh yeah it's, oh yeah I'm, I had him I had I'm not him. doing good but I'm gonna catch up I'm gonna catch yep. up well it's yeah. your turn is it my turn right now? It is. Unless uh, unless okay. Nahessa has a bonus action. Uh oh shit. Yeah, I guess I'll turn on the the blades long. <laughs> okay. With were you moving like... into engaged ranged with either of these enemies or were you staying back with Bear and Robo Bear? I think since I just spent 30 feet of movement to get to like I, I I think I'm like if this was actually battle mapped out, maybe I'm like on the stairs or the very bottom of the stairs. And if sure. everyone's a little bit ahead of me in uh yep. Yeah. So you and you and Bear and Robo Bear are in the cellar, but not engaged. I yep. yeah, I, I think so. Okay. I think, uh, so then, R Runa. That's everything for me. Okay, so I'm going to, um, bonus action to cast Healing Word on Rixana. Nice. Um, so six. So Rixana heals six. Cool. And is uh stabilized. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, nice. um, back in the fight. Right, yeah, awake. Um, and then immediately after waking up, Rixana sees like a bolt of fire, just like, because <laughs> I, I cast Produce Flame and, oh, but I'm still engaged with this this enemy in front of me. Uh, yes. Says Kaylee. Um, what'd you say? Oh, what? Just fire, Kaylee. Oh the, oh, the fire. Well, it's okay, I'm not going to do it anyway, because I would, it, it, I would have, um, it'd be bad, right? Uh, isn't there a penalty for doing that, or am I thinking fourth edition? Is it edition? an attack or is it a save? It, it's an attack. Ranged attack. Then it's dis uh, then it's a uh, disadvantage. Right. That's if yeah. You have anyone engaged with you? Yep. Or is it or is it only disadvantage if I'm targeting the person engaged? Nope. It's, it's if you're engaged with anybody. Okay. Okay. If you're okay. engaged and you're making a ranged attack, it's disadvantage. Okay. That's, um, that's, that's but fine. But if you're married, yeah, it's so, fine. Well, yeah. <laughs> if you're married, you're single fine. or married. Uh, yeah. Well, you know what? Whatever. I'll. No, I can't cast sleep now because Rixana's awake with six hit points. Yeah, it's not. I mean, you can. No I mean, you, can. you would pick up a point. immune to sleep, right? I can't be put to sleep. Oh, oh that's, that's true. Yeah. You can't be put to sleep, and I would know that because I'm yeah. also a You could, that would also sleep. Be kind of... <laughs> oh, no. Well, you did <laughs> not turn. So you actually can't. You can't do 23. Anyways, because you can't do two spells in a turn. If Even if. Uh, that's true. Yeah, yeah, one has to be a cantrip. Cantrip for it. So save that. All right, all right. I won't. 
I won't do that. Um, <laughs> let's see. I guess if I did produce flame, then that's um, not a spell. It would be it. You, you have to do it. You can only do a cantrip. I can do no, a cantrip. Yeah. Produce flame is a cantrip. Oh, um, okay. okay. But if I did that, I would have advantage and disadvantage if I attack the one which that would just is... be neutral. Yeah, right. be neutral, which isn't terrible. Um, but now I can't wild shape because I already cast healing word. Right. Uh, okay. Curses. Bonus actions. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna <laughs> produce flame. Um, On. And and I and I'm sorry, Kaylee, but I'm <laughs> very mad. Uh, yeah, nope, on the one that's outlined. Okay. The one that's holding your sister. Um. Oh, I don't have advantage, so it's just a seven. Dang it. Okay. So that's a miss. Ah. Uh, all right. That's it. All right. Well, Rix, now that you're back in the fight. <laughs> so the situation is they're currently holding me, like grappling me, essentially. Um. So yeah, they were they were pulling you away from the rest of the group. Okay. So it would basically be like my action to try to break free, I assume. Um. Oh, wait. Hold on. I'm sorry. Can I spend my inspiration to have given that advantage? Or to sure, re-roll, and then the second roll. Oh, would you can use the twenty-three. Or do you want me to just actually re-roll now? Because I'm. We'll use of... the twenty-three. That's fine. Okay. Okay. Cool. 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 That's it. Yay! Thank you, inspiration. Take seven fire damage. Okay, and that's that's to the one that's grabbing Rick's. That is. It's, it's this one that I'm pinging right here. Yeah. Okay. Seven. Okay. Um, Rick's. Uh, to answer your question. So they're grabbing you and pulling you, mm -hmm. um, but they're not like grappling you because they think you're down. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I think that when you take the healing and suddenly become active again, uh, I don't think that's going to take a full action to break grapple. You know what I mean? Like, because you're surprising them by suddenly waking up. Mm -hmm. Kind of get what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. we're not going to treat that as a grapple. We're going to treat that as like they let go in surprise, especially the one who just got hit with produce flame. Mm -hmm. um, so all you are is prone right now. Okay. Um, that's half movement to stand up. Yep. So I'll get up and um, I'll attack the one that just got damaged. Okay. Um, and let's see. I'm not going to get sneak attack for this. Uh, if you're rolling with advantage, you are. Which you yes. should be with fairy fire. Where, oh, okay. So the one that got damaged was the one with fairy fire? Okay. Yes. Yeah. 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 The little purple dots are fairy fire. Okay. Cool. Good call. Thank you. Uh, 16. Uh, a 16 will hit. They are wearing, by the way, they're wearing scale mail armor and holding shields, just Oof. as a heads up. Okay. Uh, that that is damage. 16 damage. And this one is... Too. What was that? You can roll again if in case you crit, because you have advantage. Oh, because advantage, yeah. Mm -hmm. Roll your attack again. Oh, oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Sorry. Uh, let's Fine. try that again. Uh, uh, yeah, that one's okay. okay. Um, it is bloodied now, though. Uh, it looks pretty badly hurt. Okay, I'll follow up with the bonus offhand attack. Nice. Uh, that's also just a with ten. Advantage. Uh, oh, also don't manage. I'm gonna keep forgetting that over and over. <laughs> Nineteen, yeah. hits. Nineteen there you hits. go. Uh, that's a three. That's enough to drop it. Wow. All right. And this is probably the most pissed off you've all ever seen, Ricks, and she just <laughs> like, like just, just kick flips up yeah, and just kicks her short sword in the guy's jaw. Yeah. How dare like, you make me not look cool in front of the other party members? Exactly. That's why she's like, no, no one was there. So cowardly freaking. But I saw. They're gonna get destroyed. <laughs> um, um. Yeah, and so I. Yeah, that's my turn. Okay, Leif. Uh, I'm gonna bonus action to do the free hunter's mark. Okay, on the on big guy. The big guy. And then I'm gonna hit him with a melee attack. Nice. 23 hits. Ugh. So that's the Hunter's Mark damage, and then... Yeah, so that's the regular. Uh, done. All right. 
The Dwagar are going to go. The big one's going to swing at Leif. Okay. Um, that is a miss. And then the two that are engaged with Kaylee and Runa, they're both going to swing at one at Kaylee, one at Runa. So we'll do Kaylee first. With a 14. Looks like a miss. Mm -hmm. And then Runa. With a six. Looks like a miss. Uh, and then the one's going to swing at Rixana. Just making sure I don't have... Okay, yep, going to swing at Rixana. Uh, with a hit. Against 15, yeah. Uh, for three piercing damage. <laughs> Oof. Still in the game. You're bloody. Yep. Um, okay, Bear, you're up. Okay. Uh, I am going to try to get myself and Robo Bear into as many of their melee ranges as possible. <laughs> uh, okay. I can say that you, so this is what we're going to do. I can say that you and Robo Bear can position yourselves between these two groups thusly. Sounds good. Okay. Uh, and... Twig our sandwich. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a bear sandwich uh, right there. It's. <laughs> I am shifting to werebear form, and I am going to cast Sanctuary on Rix. So anybody uh, attacking her or casting a harmful spell of any kind must make a wisdom save to do so. DC 13. Okay. Awesome. Nice. Good job. Um... Is that every turn off Rix's attacks? But mm, yeah. Yeah. Hmm? She's already that it for your turn? Oh, yes. Okay. Kaylee. Uh yeah, let's uh try to do something about this guy here. So right. I will start off with a quarter staff. Hit. Uh let me just roll it again just in case. No. For eleven. Nice. He's bloodied. I will spend a key, and we're going to flurry this guy. Oh my. That's better. Uh, Wait a minute. Which one are you flurrying? The one that's bloodied? Yep. Okay. And you rolled the attack twice? Oh, because you do two attacks. That's right. Yep. Yeah. 18 hits. For another four. Sorry. I was confused for a second. Nope, All right. No problem. That's me. Okay, Nahessa. Uh, I'm taking. I, I I take it I can't. Like I is this all at the base of the stairs basically, and then I'm like a little. Um, place. it is. So movement rules. You can move through your allies. Uh, mm -hmm. so you could end just south of Bear, without mm -hmm. proccing attacks of opportunity from anyone else. Um, and you'd be engaged with both the big one and the one next to Bear. Sure. All right. Fix it up. Uh, and then I am going to uh, kind of, I don't know if that required a flip. Uh, <laughs> it can or cannot have. <laughs> You're just, Do you want uh, it to uh, have? I mean, it's pretty tight quarters, I so I think it, it would be cool if it did. Yeah. Well, in any case, uh, I'll go ahead and go for the big guy because he's okay. big. <laughs> and they they can all do it, so I mean, uh, and, oh, and, this has a big oh, Hey, there you I go. Crit. Nice, nice, very nice. He's bloodied. Wrecked. Cool. Two action surge. Uh, seven. Oh, uh, and an advantage for the offhand. Eight. Cool. Actually, uh, no, I already had advantage. I don't know that I can. If I blew a luck point, I've used it so rarely, I don't remember what the timing is. Um, I would say that you could do it. I mean, because I think you have to do it before I say hit or miss, but you would know looking at 7 and 8 that those will both miss, you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, that's it for me. Okay. 
uh, Runa. And then after Runa's turn, that's the end of the round. I'm going to give us, just for the sake of time, because we're after 11, I'm going to give us to the end of the following round. And if it's not resolved by then, we're going to... Mm. I hate stopping in the middle of combat, but it's after 11. <sighs> and I know, Dave, it's like, it's like what, 7 a.m. or something? 5 a.m. So. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you unless you, unless, unless if, if, if Dave, if you would prefer to finish it, no matter how long it takes. No, I'm fine. I'm fine to finish it. Okay. Okay. All, All right. right. Then we'll then we'll go till it's done. All right. Runa angry. Runa smash. <laughs> Runa, Runa is bare now. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, I'm oh, I'm uh, a bunch of bears. Bear, 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 bear. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna spend my remaining spell slots. Someone needs to clip this and dub the gummy bears theme song over the top of it. <laughs> wow. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take added. that uh, 38 extra hit points and uh, I'm gonna be really angry and smash this one that's wounded and fairy fired in front of me. Nice. Um, get wrecked. <laughs> oh, I crit. Wow. Oh. Yes. Okay, take 11 damage. <laughs> it did, and it's it. Uh, its innards are splattered against the cellar wall. Yeah, I'm sorry, Kaylee. Um, I did not go easy on this guy. Um, so, like, if, if you don't mind me describing, I basically, like, pounce on top of it, and I start ripping and tearing like this is doom. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, nice. Kaylee does not have any reaction to that. <laughs> she, she's she's, just, she's look, looking at eh. Rixana, wanting to make sure that they, she is. Safe. They weren't innocent. <laughs> Kaylee's totally stone faced as blood just goes. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Rix, top of the next round. Okay, so, Rix, I'm, you're sanctuaried. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna attack the one that's uh, that's still awake next to me. Now, does just, Rix have to make a wisdom save? No, 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 no. It no, just breaks the spell if she attacks. It yeah. just breaks it. Okay, all right. So the, the sanctuary will go away if you attack. Rix doesn't, doesn't strike me as the try not to attack <laughs> type. <laughs> Do we lose, uh, Ian? Uh-oh. Oh. I, I oh, believe no. we might have. I thought he was just staring intently at yeah, the screen. Yeah, I, I thought he was like, getting ready to roll. <laughs> He does that every so often. I that's kind of what I assumed. Mm. Standing there with three oh, well. doesn't strike me as a great idea. Gain <laughs> <laughs> the benefit of this spell. Right. Do we skip Rixana for the time being? Yeah, we'll put Rix on hold and we'll go to okay. Leif. Right. So uh it's still fairy fired, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh then the melee attack. Twenty three hits. Oh. Oh. And Three. Oh. Maybe. Reconnecting. Mm -hmm. Seven. Okay. Uh, the big guy wait, goes wait, wait, down. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. I I'm sorry. Were you? I didn't even hey. get to my hunter's mark damage. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> disconnected counter. Like, the okay. disconnected counter. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's all the all the Comcast customers. And I, I will. <laughs> yeah. With my offhand, uh, I whip it at the remaining alive. Okay. There's two, uh, technically. Yeah, you're alive. That's yeah but there's, you yeah. guys are dealing with it. Oh, we sure are. <laughs> and I'll, 16 spend, hits. I'll spend my uh, inspiration from uh, Sailor Doom. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. I'm just shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ian, we just put your turn on hold. Okay. So. Yeah, um, I, I, yeah your turn. I didn't Go realize ahead. that me attacking breaks sanctuary, mm. but I can't see a situation where Rixana just doesn't go ham on this. Stage. I knew it. I knew it. It's fine. I, I just wanted it. to buy you time. Yeah, yeah. like I yes. feel like I wasted That's your spell, I but no, don't worry I was, about it. I was, I was like, there's no way Rixana's not. I just he gets them back good. every day. It's not wasted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's let's, let's attack this. Yeah, he gets spells back almost. every day. You don't get your reputation back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's a crit. <laughs> oh, worth it. Oh, my roll so 20 is going crits. super slow. I'm not seeing it yet. Uh, yeah, but I will find it either. Oh, but good. Rick, you're going to get my inspiration for this. <laughs> oh, so. there it is. There it goes. It. Nice. Yay. Okay, so Delivered. cash in that crit for damage and take another inspiration from Justin. Yeah, crit for brains. 
Uh, that Ooh. is 22 damage. He goes down. That's going to be a yikes for me. I... He skipped bloodied and went straight down. Yeah, yeah usually, usually Rick has kind of this very, like, flourishes and, like, fencer style, and this, she just gets the sword and just, like, pushes <laughs> it straight into his chest against the wall. Like, full of anger mode. Shh, <laughs> shh, shh, you shh, shh, shh. <laughs> you went Michael Myers pinned him up against the wall with the <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. Um but, this yes, that's my turn. this last one sees the giant corpse of its ally, <laughs> the the eviscerated corpse of the one that met with a bear. Um the other the rest of them lying there and the one sleeping. Oh, and the sanctuary's gone. And it drops its war pick. Um and drops its shield and puts its hands up and it immediately um, starts talking uh, and it's speaking in Dwarvish. Can anybody speak Dwarvish? Nope. Okay. Um, it goes down It it goes down on its knees and it continues talking and it looks and you're all just kind of standing there staring at it. And then it'll switch to Undercommon um, and try Undercommon. Anybody know that? No? <laughs> okay. at, a, at, a, at a certain point... Oh, Nehesa knows it? Nehesa knows Undercommon. Okay, so Nehesa, he's he's begging for his life. He's he's begging for you to to let him go, um, and you can take anything anything that they have, anything that that you know you want from him, as long as he can he and his sleeping ally can.